Hi, everybody. It's Julie. And today I just wanted to pop in and share a really fun and quick idea. I needed a cake stamp recently and I didn't have one. So I figured, what the heck? I'm just going to freehand it. And I know that sounds scary sometimes to people, but this is super easy and anybody can do it. So I'm going to take some 140 pound cans and watercolor paper. I trimmed half an inch off the long edge and off the short edge so that when I mount it to my card front, I have a quarter inch uh, matte finish all the way around. And I'm going to grab a sentiment from a stamp set called Cue the Confetti. This says, let's get birthday cake wasted, which I think is hysterical. I would love to get a birthday cake that said something like this on it. And I'm going to ink that up. I'm working with the Misty stamp positioning tool here. I'm going to ink that up with some VersaFine Claire in the Nocturne color. This is a nice, deep, rich black. And I love this ink because it's a faster drying pigment ink. It's bleed proof. You can also emboss it if you want to. Now, the great thing when I say uh, it's bleed proof. That means you can use water-based markers or watercolors, paints, etc. over the top and that ink is not going to bleed out on you and turn your colors to mud. So I'm loading up here with the pearlescent red color. These paints are so yummy and shimmery and I'm just going to use my Pentel Aquash. This is my favorite water brush and I'm just going to paint a simple tall rectangle and then I'm going to add kind of a curved edge to the top and a curved edge along the bottom. This is going to give my cake a little bit more shape than just a simple plain rectangle. And then I'm just going to fill it in. And I'm not going to fill it in carefully. I like having a little bit of white space there for highlight and personality. And as you can see, it's not a perfect rectangle. It looks kind of like a marshmallow, <laughs> a pink marshmallow. <laughs> kind of a leaning pink marshmallow, but then I need to heat set it. And the reason for that is I'm going to use a pigment marker with a fine tip on it. This is like a 0.08 pigment marker, and it's just simple black. And I'm going to doodle the details there on the top, and that's going to make my cake. And I, of course, I didn't have any candles. Um, candles would might have been kind of more time consuming to draw, so I thought, oh, how, let's put sparklers on top because we're winging it, right? So. <laughs> That's going to make it nice and easy and it looks really fun. I mean, who doesn't love a cake with sparklers on top? And here you can see how gorgeous, shimmery those pearlescent Gonzai Tombies are. They're just so absolutely delicious. Now I'm going to mount this onto my A2 card front. This is Nina Solar White, 80 pound, and I just used a Thermal Web tape runner. I really love the compact size of that tape runner, so I use it a lot. And I'm going to burnish on the back side to make sure I don't smear any of my lovely artwork on the front. I'm going to grab some on-point glue. This has a really fine tip needle nose applicator. I'm just going to add some dots of glue all over where I want to put those sequins. And then I can come in and grab the sequins out of the bowl. I kind of corral them there in the bowl so they don't get away from me on my work surface. And use my jewel picker there to get a hold of them and quickly add them to the glue drops. And while that's drying, I'm going to very carefully, depending on where I stick my fingers, add some Stickles glitter glue to the edges there because that panel is flush mounted to the card front. I have a nice edge. I can butt the nozzle of that Stickles glue bottle up and get a fine bead of glitter. Anyway, this is a really fun, quick, easy idea, and I thought you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.